Hey, Damon, if I was at the rate on that now, which that math has, like, if I score 430 on that, see that my negative thought goes in there. you got to stop that stuff. If, but look, only we had a 454. So if I get all these scores the same, and have my math at a 430. A 454 is passing. So. <laughs> All right, so if everybody can take out the packet that we were working on uh, Tuesday night and pick up. So <clears throat> let me just say a couple words here because, um, you know, this time of year becomes very tough because the, the year is almost done, right? And as you observe, Ben, there's fewer people here. Yeah. And the nicer the weather gets and the longer it stays light outside, the fewer people will be here. Just the way it is every year. Um, so so what you really want to focus on is, you know, where you are. I think many of you have signed up for the test. That's great. You're going to pass it and get done with it and get on with the next thing in your life. But you know you want to, but but you really want to be clear on where you are, so you can look back at your scores like you just did, and say, you know, if I just got a 14 in math, you're over the hurdle, right? And so the the, the the common thing is is that most people have pretty good reading scores above average, right? And and the social studies, the reading, and the science tests, those three tests. Uh, those three tests are all reading tests. They're, they're mostly reading comprehension tests. Yeah, well, no, I mean they're not exclusively comprehension, but it's you know, not based on social studies. It's so not you don't based need to on know what studies. happened in the 1700s. It's right. not that you're going to be referring to one of the what's there. Mm -hmm. If you can yeah, read the question, the, what's the information's in, the, uh, in that question. If you right. can read and understand that question, you can get that answer. Right. It's not going to ask. I thought I would do the worst in social studies because I never cared about it, and I scored the highest in social studies. I scored a 520. That was my highest score, and I can't stand that subject. It's not about the subject. So it's essentially just a reading test about social studies, a reading test about science, a reading test about reading, right? So, so most people are going to have probably an average score of 460 or plus here, just overall, right? And so, so the only two places of struggle that are really on the GED test are uh, essay and GED math. And, and this is true even in high school, right? What do people have the most difficult thing with? Is passing the exit exams, right? And the exit exams are math and writing. Okay, so so these are these are probably the skills that you know require the most development, right? Because math, you're really building off of what you learn in kindergarten. One plus one is one, all the way up to where we are now. So it's building blocks, right? Essay. Most people are just uncomfortable with writing. The way it is, most people don't have to write, right? right? So that's why we all. That's why we only really focus on these two things, right? Your reading, you know, unless I've seen your test score, I would have already told you. But your reading scores, I mean, pretty much everybody here is 460 or in the 500s. Most of you have some scores in the 500s. There's really no reason to really focus on any of that stuff. But so what we're really looking at is essay. Right, making sure your essay's tight, that you have the, you, you can write a five paragraph essay, right? You know, we've been over that a zillion times. You want to at least have five paragraphs in your essay because then off the bat they know that you know what they're asking you to do, right? Intro paragraph, three body paragraphs, and the conclusion. Then, math for most of you, if you have this reality of the reading score, it's really about getting a 410, which is really about getting 30 out of 50 right. You can get 30 out of 50 right. So that's why I don't stress the algebra, I don't stress the geometry. Is that stuff on the test? Absolutely it is, right? Do you need it to pass? Absolutely you don't. You need to know some of those lower basic skills that will fall into ge geometry and that will fall into algebra, as we've done some of those and we'll do some more of those tonight. But when people think about algebra, they're thinking x squared plus x equals 360. And they say, wow, 
Yeah. Right? Or when they think about geometry, they that's think easy. about... That's easy, though. Like the, oh, it seems like the algebra right here is really hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that algebra is easy. Yeah. Some of the stuff in the book is hard. Yeah. That, I mean. But then this is what's in the book. See, it, so all this stuff is all based upon myth. And that's what I'm trying to do. 2x minus 3y equals 1. <laughs> that, that, that's my whole goal. I just want to break the myth. Why can't you just myth. say 3 minus 2 is 1? Why well, you got to put letters in there? Well, that's, that's <laughs> algebra. If you see this, and you see there's two perpendicular lines, and this is angle A, and this is angle B, and this angle C, and this angle D, right? You have to know a little bit about geometry to do that. Is that stuff on the test? Sure it is. Is it enough to stop you from getting your 410? No. Right? So, uh, so, uh, so, so my whole point is that a lot of what we're thinking about is not what we really need to be thinking about at all, right? Because the, the GED test is not school. It's a, re a replication of school, right? All it is is a testing of these skills to get you this piece of paper, then you're on to the next thing, right? If you were to sit down and work on math or geometry, it's very worthwhile. But do it at college where you're going to get credit for it. Don't do it here. Right? If you, I'll say it again. Get out. If, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna work on algebra or geometry, get credit for it. Quote unquote, right? Quote unquote. All don't right. do it. You can quote me on that one. You can take it to the bank. <laughs> but but don't work on algebra or geometry here. Because you don't need it to pass the test, right? But if you want to become a nurse, if you want to become a nurse, if you want to become whatever the different goals are here, right? You do need your GED to do those things, absolutely. Right. Right. So that's just where it is, All right? So, so this is a very specific test. It's just it's episodic. It's just it's just a hurdle you have to jump over. Uh, well, I'll be coming back to this class if I want if I pass that and I try and take my uh, adult with it, or try to get my adult to follow, which is, uh, entails me getting a certain amount of credits, right? Right. So if you're going to do the high school. You, you want to get your high school diploma yeah, and use yeah. a GED for credits towards yeah. your graduation? Yeah. yeah, we do that here. So over here, I can show you those things, but whatever credits you need, we can do that. Yeah. But see, but that's something different than the but GED. I'm, but I'm just saying, though, like, why well, come back to this class if I pass a GED and I'm trying to get my high school diploma? Absolutely. Yeah, so I'll do that yeah. here. Mm -hmm. okay. But here's what I would argue.